never know. Tech, Tech, I just like you to know that I am forever grateful and lucky to be your friend. Thank you for attending our event. Without you, it wouldn't be the same. No problem. I'm always here, but there's a lot of things in my life, so that's why I'm trying to get back to normal, so. If I can actually memorize the uh, mm -hmm. how to make uh, I'm walk through your best. That'd be nice. Right. No. <laughs> oh no. Like I've made them before, but I've always like gone off of like a pre-written recipe. I've never actually memorized one yet. I think that question is a little bit shy. <laughs> Oh, don't be so rude about it. <laughs> yeah, man. Bad day. Sorry, hello. What question? Just, just keep an eye on this card because you need any questions. Yeah, I think I got you. Yeah. Oh, oh, right. Sorry, yes, it's you me guys and are the. Ah, uh, okay, so what? Or me and, me and equalization, not me and Panda. I see your face. Yeah, I, am, I, have not, I have not been an NPC yet. I should do that at some that, point, actually. That is it is quite fun. Oh, um, can I pull you into a room so I can give you the avatar? Yeah, right. Alright. Assuming you didn't already get. Already pick it up. No, I uh, uh, respawn. Fun fact. From her a few hours of the public world about yesterday. Stuff. Ah, and that was. What are you thinking, man? I don't know, man. Mm -hmm. It was crazy shit. It was some crazy yeah. shit. Hello. It's a pump. Yeah, hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it's just weird. This. Get so used to just like well, the smaller well, communities. And well. It's like, you know, how much more low key they are. And then you go to a freaking public with a midnight rooftop and just I everyone is freaking screaming and there memeing or oh, yelling yeah. slurs. They're basically, they're really loud. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Who's getting there? I, am, I literally just finished two seconds ago. I wasn't ready. Anyway, I was saying, so because of the, um, the post tonight that was made in the announcement, I think that we're looking for, like, we're already looking for dreams and stuff, but I think we should look for, like, extra hard, like, dream shit, so, or, like, things that we can, like, loan or things like that that would be correlated to dreams. I actually need to do this. Ten. Nine. Eight. It's starting. Oh, oh, here we go. Yes. Uh, I think tellers I about ready. Be trying to go to the Arctic Circle thing because I Let's get this really nice to go as a uh, three. I need to check to make sure that this actually works. Two. One. Whip. Whip. Silence. Meep. It seems you've met with an uncertain fate. You find yourself at an interdimensional crossroad. A rendezvous of travelers between worlds. Welcome to our point of contact to the narrative domain. My name is Sheen. I am an infomorphic, mimetic, highly metastasized meme complex and one of the tour guides of VR travelers. We are a team of friends that create immersive story-based tours. We do this with original writing, beautiful worlds, voice acting, and 100% wholesome Team effort. Tonight, we will be telling the story 
of the Prince. You are welcome to record tonight's event. A note, travelers. Tonight's instance will be invite plus. So, you are welcome to add my fellow tour guide, Rendizo, or yours truly, as friends now. We will help you get back into the world should you need to for any reason. I repeat, the only way back into this instance is if you send us an invite request. Now, without further ado, allow me to introduce you to the greatest voice actor to ever walk the narrative domain and your god for the next few hours. My friends, my dearest friends, allow me to grace you with the presence of the one, the only, Trajem, the tour guide. Yippee. Oh. <laughs> of the narrative halls. Insert flavor text here. As mentioned, <laughs> my name is Trajim, and I will be your storyteller tonight. My friends, this is a story-based tour, and as with any tour in the real world, there are rules. Well, one rule at least, and that is as follows. I kindly ask that you become silent each time we stop for narration. However, you are encouraged to talk amongst yourselves while we walk. I will drop a portal to tonight's event. The portal will be placed in front of me. Please do not enter the portal until I give the signal that it is safe to do so. Wait for me on the other side. Interesting. Let's go. Time to roll out. Some cute, some computers. Jokes on you. I'm used to the club. Work. 
My 30 FPS, we're doing great. Yeah, that's, that's beautiful for me. I'm at <laughs> 75. <laughs> oh, oh, I see how it is. I see how it is. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, yes, I, yes. On that. I will eventually get a new get new computer. Oh shit. Mm hmm. Mm. Imagine seeing seem the darkness. Wet. It's all right. <laughs> so, oh, no. Uh, yes, oh, there's oh, a yeah. very important uh, thing. Uh, hello, hello. hello. Uh, and there's a story as to why I'm undead. Uh, agendas. I will not <laughs> gain to. Maybe as a milestone. Oh, so, story. Minston, there are a lot of monster girls. Tell me. Uh, monster girl and yeah. enthusiasm. Minston, mm -hmm. uh, zero. What's the, what's yeah, the tell me. The... What have I uh, so entered into? I heard something. Let me make sure a cat didn't just explode something. Oh, oh it's. <laughs> you know? You know what? I just feel like getting all dressed up for this. You don't. Hello. What? What is this? It's not not tricking me. This is not my fault. I was in a meeting earlier. I think it's suit for every case. Five. Travelers, your attention, please. Kindly make your way to the front near the tour guide, so you can hear the story clearly. One. Move up front towards Trajan, the tour guide. My friends, welcome to the narrative of the prince. Before we begin, aside from the one rule I mentioned earlier, there are some notes specific to this world. Please listen carefully. First, Take a moment to adjust your world volume so that you can clearly hear the distant waves. Make sure the large button to your left is currently orange. If it is green, click it once so that it becomes orange. Tour mode must be on. If you are experiencing lag, feel free to turn off all avatars except for us tour guides. Desktop users, press tab. Those in VR, press the menu button with your right hand above your head. You will see this world's custom menu appear. You can use this teleport feature to help catch up to the group with the assistance of my fellow tour guides if you get left behind somehow. I will announce each time we reach a new chapter in the story. And finally, one last note for VR users. This tour has some strong color filters in some parts. Now, my friends, let us begin. Please, follow me. Let's go. It's the darkness. Yes, magic missile. I cast magic missile. I attack the darkness. Oh, no. <laughs> God, get the hell out of it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> fall down. Ooh, oh, what? Right back. It's this. It's this Avi. I haven't seen you. How have you done this? Oh, ah! oh. Have you seen this one? No. Oh, I, I've seen you working so, on it, but I haven't seen it in VR. Okay. Oh, shit. Hey. How do you My open, friend, how do you open up the menu again? Without further ado, above your head and pressing B. The story begins. I 
listen. Can you hear it? The waves. They say that when I was born, everyone could hear it. The midwives, the guards, the servants, even the cooks and stable hands. Everyone in the castle, everybody in the kingdom. Everybody heard the ocean, but that didn't make sense. The ocean is nowhere near the kingdom. The oracle said it was a sign that I was different. But I never heard the waves myself. At least, not until. Chapter One I in a castle tower, alone in a dark chamber, a young prince trembles beneath the covers. His brow is furrowed with worry, his breath shallow and rapid. His mind is full, overflowing with grim images, twisted vision. Memories of that night, that storm, that harrowing storm, dark waters churning and roiling, nightmares plague him, guilt plagues him. Some of the crew members and soldiers were found along the beaches, blue faces strangled by seaweed bloated, half buried in grey sands. But his father was not among them. All were lost to the sea. All but the prince. He awakens with a start, saved from the darkness of his own imagination, finding brief reprieve in the pop of a candle. But the remission is short-lived. He sits up, looks left at the raindrops sliding down the glass, then right, slowly surveying the dark corners of his chamber. There is a meal on his cabinet, likely cold as stone. The thought of food upsets him, his appetite absent for one or two moons now. 
With a shaking sigh, he reaches over, scooping up a trinket from his bedside table, and he brings it close to his face, squinting in the low light to make out its details. It is a pendant from the sacred land of Ludicia, given to him by his father, the late king. All he has is this pendant, his mother, and his brother. A warmth ignites in his heart, spreading across his body, keeping the cold at bay. Strong, charming, smart, his brother is everything their parents wanted. He even went to battle alongside the Silver Aegis and came back unscathed. The people look up to him. His brother is the king everybody wants. The chill of night begins to win the fight. The pendant loses its power as his bed pleads for him to return. Heavy covers under which he can hide and wish himself away. A fragile bulwark against a callous, ruthless world that doesn't want him. He dives back down into his refuge and... be at his door at this time of night. Is it one of the guard making sure he hasn't fled? Is it the nurse checking up on him again? Is it the zealots finally here to drag him to the tower? Rain batters glass as he turns his head toward the door. You're still awake? The prince sighs and nods. His brother steps out of shadow, wearing a cloak and carrying a bag. Why is he dressed at this time of night? Has anyone entered your room? The prince looks at his brother. Have they? He doesn't think so. Aside from the rain and wind, the castle has been quiet. His brother seems nervous and it makes the prince nervous. He shakes his head. Good, the brother glances toward the door. Get dressed, grab whatever you can carry. The prince's heart sinks. Questions and fears swim in his mind like eels in a bucket of water. Is there a fire? Has Dacia finally reached the capital? Is his mother, the queen, sending him away? Is he finally going to prison for what he did? But none of the questions leave his lips. He just sits there, useless. Listen, his brother approaches the bed. This is serious. Put on your cloak. Take whatever you don't want to leave behind. Someone is... Someone is after us, and... He turns suddenly to face the door. The prince listens. Hurry, the brother says in a harsh whisper. Now! The prince is terrified. He climbs out of the covers and reaches down to open the trunk at the foot of his bed, rummaging for his warmest cloak, the dark blue one with the hood. What about mother? The prince's voice feels weak, as though it's about to shatter. What about the guards? What about the Aegis? What about... No, there's no time. His voice frightens the prince. Why is he being like this? He finds his cloak and swings it over his shoulders. He slips a long tunic over his nightgown, fastens it with a belt and slips into some boots. He only has time to stuff the Ludician pendant into his pocket before his brother grabs his hand and almost drags him to the door. The brother stops, gestures for the prince to be quiet, and peers out into the passageway. My friends, let us follow the pair into the dark. Please follow me. Hmm.
Okay. Well, are we going to the dungeon? Prince and the brother pass through an empty hall. The castle has been quiet thus far, but here, from some place ahead, footsteps echo. Behind here, whispers the brother, pressing himself against a pillar. A moment later, a door swings open. The sounds of armor rattling and a woman panting draw nearer. The prince holds his breath. A figure staggers past in a rush, glancing around only briefly, and they exit the way the brothers came from. That's the Aegis, the prince thinks, and his heart flutters, but something's wrong. She looked injured, and how didn't she notice them? The prince peers up at his brother, expecting him to go after his mentor. But he doesn't. The brother grabs his hand and uses a side door. My friends, this way. Shall we? Why are we here? The prince asks. The brother hurries past the shelves and moves to the far end of the room, ignoring the question. He starts to check everything, moving random objects, looking behind and under furniture. The prince looks at a nearby open book, some old red tome. Who is after us? The brother stops. The Oracle is dead. The Inquisitor killed him. He looks the prince directly in the eyes, breathless, afraid. I saw it happen, and the Inquisitor saw me. The prince stumbles back, catching himself on a desk. The oracle? Dead? And the inquisitor? A cold chill crawls up the back of his neck. A sick feeling boils in his stomach. Dead. Dead. But, but the oracle said that he is the chosen one. The oracle said that he survived for a reason. The Oracle said he would learn how to control it if he just went to Lodicia and found it. The brother steps back and dusks, dusts his hands. Help me move this. The two of them carefully, quietly, drag a shelf away from the wall. Behind it, 
low to the ground is an old door, a secret passage. This will lead outside the castle, the brother says. Are you ready? 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 How can he be ready? No, no, this has to be a dream. It feels like a dream, a nightmare. It's a nightmare. The oracle can't be dead. Any moment now he's going to be shaken awake by his nurse, and his mother will be right there, and for once he will welcome her presence. Yes, it's just a nightmare. It's... Hey, hey. The brother pulls him back. I know you're afraid. I am as well. But without us, Alasrath has no ruler after mother. We're going to escape. We're going to hide. We're going to get help. And then I'm going to figure out a way to solve all of this. All right? It's going to be okay. We will be okay. The prince can only bring himself to nod before they both crawl into the secret passage. My friends, we must follow this way. I remember. Um, Detach. Bang for blue. Detach. Prepare for blue. Detach. Okay. Detach. But. That might. Detach. Detach. Hello. Detach. Drifters. Drift could be. The brothers emerge from the cramped passageway and find themselves in a dimly lit basement. It seems, it feels similar to the kitchen cellars, but the prince doesn't directly recognize it. And judging by his brother's face, he doesn't recognize it either. The brother begins to cross the room slowly, checking every footstep. The prince stops. What's that noise? A grinding, a deep rumbling. The storm returns. An image rushes up from the depths, rising to meet him. In a moonlight forest, a beast strides out of undergrowth. It glides across the ground, argent, majestic, silent, a great silver elk. It lands, pauses, turns back. A younger tawny elk follows, slower and with less majesty, yet bearing great promise. The great elk observes as the younger elk's shadow moves. It betrays the form. The forest becomes dark. My friends, you have a choice to make in this story. The prince has four options. Descend, divulge, dwell, distract. I will give you one minute to discuss what he should do, and after this time expires, one of you will be called upon to give the best answer you have heard. Your time starts now. Detach. 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 Detach is the option is there in all of the above. Yeah, part of me is wondering. I agree. So, yeah, what, what about good. Like, what they said in thing? Like, yeah, I was, I was thinking dreaming the same thing. And all that. 
Um, is that it's a good just theory. a subtle hint that there might be more options that we don't know about? We've just got to try. Hmm. Because, I mean, sort of chakra. Like we, yes, but we've been given. I mean, uh, what what would we be missing? We'd just be losing the ability Ow. to skip the narrative of the next. That fucking hurt. Two or three rooms or something. What happened to you? Kicked me in the goddamn face. What a chump. God, ow! Oh, I think you broke my nose. Oh god, yeah, my back actually is crap. Is actually a bit. Travelers, cease your discussion. Your time is up. Oh shit, that actually, my, it's actually big. I am going to call upon the wisdom and insight of Pack and Two. Do you speak, Traveler? I do. Very well. You alone will direct the course of this part of the story. What is the best suggestion you have heard? Yeah. Could you repeat that? Detach. Detach was not one of the options I have listed. Are you sure? Yes. Oh, yes. Go for it. Yes. Detach. The most unsure surety I have heard in a while. Very well. Your answer has been submitted, and their fates have been sealed. This is what happens. <laughs> Detach. The prince takes a step back from himself. He observes his own fear, his own experience. He observes the vision from outside. With this clarity, he can see the truth. He remains in the moonlight forest. The shadow continues to shift, sliding beneath the younger elk. The greater elk stamps its hoof unmoved. The shadow does not flinch. The elk stamps again and the shadow cowers. Then the shadow turns. It turns in the direction of the prince, and the prince looks back at the darkness, black as the dark side of the moon. And in this vision the prince remains. The brother carries him upon his back throughout the rest of the hidden passage. During this time the prince is aware of his brother avoiding some zealots down here <coughs> and the silver aegis who is working with them. My friends, Please, kindly, follow me. Um, I just... Well, I'm going to... I'm gonna go to sleep. Uh, wake me up in like five years. You want me to step on it? If you fucking step on me, I swear to God. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Eliza? I swear to God. Maybe. I swear to God. That does. Mm.
This is the ones in here, maybe the five? No, let's try that. Not the five. Chapter 2 A final secret tunnel takes them up some steep stairs and into some long abandoned home. A chill wind whistles through cracks in the shutters, accompanied by the gentle grey of dawn. The moth eaten rug breaks apart as the prince makes his way to the old dust covered bed. He sits and he sighs. He is tired, he is hungry, and his stomach still churns. The brother goes to the window and peers outside, one hand on the handle of his sidearm. His sidearm? Was that there this whole time? The prince wants to ask about it. He wants to ask about the aegis the oracle, the inquisitor, but his mouth is dry and his jaw aches and he, for the first time, is afraid of the only person who has always been there for him. I think it's safe here. Are you all right? His brother is looking at him. The prince nods, and the brother approaches and offers a water skin. Here, he says, have some. The prince looks at it. The leather is carved with a royal emblem. He wants to take it. He wants to trust his brother. But he can't. You... You think I attacked the Aegis? You think I killed the Oracle? I didn't think you could hear that. Well, I did do one of those things. I attacked the Aegis. I, I didn't want to, but you must understand, I had no choice. I saw the Inquisitor with the Oracle last night, I was going to speak with the Oracle about my coronation, but I heard their conversation. I heard what they said about you. The Oracle called you Oceanborn, and I saw the fire in the Inquisitor's eyes. The Inquisitor is. He wields the power of miracles of fire. You know this. He thinks you are sent by the enemy. He thinks the Chosen One should be fireborn like he is. He thinks... Well, I don't really understand it fully, but what I do know is if I went to the Aegis for help, then she and everyone else in the castle would have faced the wrath of the Inquisitor, including Mother. This way... It's just us. This way, everyone else is safe from him. You understand, don't you? The prince slowly lifts his gaze to meet his brothers. Something about his voice, the way he's talking. He's never heard his brother sound so... afraid. He can feel the Lydician pendant in his pocket. Look, the brother says, unbuckling his weapon. If you still don't trust me, take this. Wear it. Be the one to bear the blade. 
All right. The prince takes the sword from his brother. Sorry. The brother's stern visage is broken by a smile. <laughs> Come on, we need to keep moving, he says. It won't be safe here for long. We need to... We need to get out of Moravos, and then... And then... I'll figure out what to do next. We'll find allies, someone who can best the Inquisitor. The brother stands and offers a hand. The prince takes it. And they exit. My friends, let us follow them into the castle town of Moravos and help them find a way to escape. This way. Hmm. Though the winds howl, the town is slowly waking up, ignorant of what had transpired overnight. Rugs are shaken out of second-story windows. Farmers set up stores to sell cucumbers, carrots, and cabbage. Smiths stoke their furnaces, while innkeeps sweep the past night's chaos out their front doors. The sun barely manages to break through the clouds. This way, the brother says suddenly, and he pulls the prince aside into some bushes. Not a minute later, a pair of zealots, dressed in red, approach a pair of city watchmen. Let it be known, says one of the zealots, that the princes are to be brought before the Viner Church if they are found. They have committed treason of the highest order. Treason? Truly? What do you speak of? The heir murdered the oracle and has taken his younger brother as hostage. The Inquisitor fears the heir is being compromised by the enemy. But the heir has faced stations on the battlefield. You mean to tell me he queen's orders? If they are found, the Inquisitor must be notified at once. Failure to do so will result in being branded an enemy of the crown and of God. As you say, we shall spread the word. And the brothers are left alone again. Nobody can know who we are. The brother says, don't say anything to anyone. Keep your hood up and don't let anyone see your possessions. The guards will not let us out of the gates before checking who we are. And we'll definitely be recognized. We just need to get to... Hmm. I have an idea. I know someone who could help us. But we need to get across town. The brother looks down the road. My friends, the brothers are about to cross the city of Moravos, but they are going to need your help. Tonight's NPCs, Diamond and Equalization, please come forth. Travelers, these Shit. people are tonight's NPCs. They will be playing city guards. NPCs, please change into your avatars now. Everyone else, make sure you have the avatars of these two shown and remember their names. NPCs, 
Take your positions in the city, and make sure you are somewhere where you cannot hear me as I continue the rules. Now, for the rest of you, this quest requires that you are able to use your microphone. If you do not wish to speak, or if you think the NPCs know you personally too well, or you want to opt out of this quest for any other reason, please stand in the alley corner behind me. The rest of you, please take a moment to clearly form pairs. I'll give you a minute to do so. You and me, Captain? Sure. Not apples, um, not oranges, pears. Incognito? Can they show? Torture. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> You have nice it's avatars, by the way. That's when you've been, been sitting over there. So. Yeah, I must be using this one. Travelers, if anybody does not have a pair, yeah, please come and stand below me. I got that. Sorry, what did you say? It can be a pair. <laughs> Zoro, are you missing a pair? Oh. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Is there anybody see, else who does not have a pair? Zoro, please. Ah, Ragnaros, you do not have a partner. Ragnaros and Zoro, you are now a pair. I'll see you later. Uh, Being invited to some continue. Please listen carefully. This is what the NPCs will be doing. They will be somewhere in the city, and they will be questioning you as your pairs. So please stay together. If they address you, you must answer their questions. No other conversation is allowed between the travelers and the NPCs. This is what you are all to do. You are all to wander the city of Moravos while staying together in your pairs. You may talk amongst yourselves or with other travelers. When questioned, you must answer the NPC's questions truthfully, except for the princes who will lie. The princes will be chosen now. Skull, who is your partner? Captain Panda. Hello. Hmm. Panda, have you been chosen recently <laughs> for the prince? No, I've never. Very well. Skull oh. and Captain Panda, when questioned by the guards, you must lie. Everyone else must tell the truth. Do you understand? Hmm. Yep. Very well. Friends, no role-playing is required. You are answering questions about your real life. And of course, none of you may give any indication whatsoever about who the princes are. You will have ten minutes to run the city of Moravos. At the end of this town, you will hear the town bell. Please, at this point, come and find me. The NPCs will then privately discuss which pair they think were playing as the princes and lying. Your goal is to keep the princes' identities a secret. Alazu, did you have a question? No, I was just wondering if we could have a one more prince pair, see what happens. Uh, uh... It's a rather small group today. I think there's only, I think there are two, fewer than ten pairs. If the group is larger, I definitely choose two pairs. My friends, your ten minutes starts now. 
Okay. Those who are opting out, please follow me. I'll take you straight to the end. This way. So let's go find the key to McZalots. So we're, we're looking for the key to McZalots. All right. I have no idea what to do in the middle. Excuse me. We've been trying for the past like couple weeks to find the key to McZalots. Okay. And you know, Panda, Panda, so so we can find it. Where are we going? The entrance is right here, right? Like, it's, it's right here. You are safe back here in the corner for the next 10 minutes. I guess we're looking for tea, for what some people say. Oh, that's funny. Oh, did we win in circles? Let's see. Not What's quite. down here? Uh, you can't go down here. Okay. Oh, you can't throw yourself off the cliff. YOLO! Very sad. Tragic. Oh, oh, there I know. Terrible. terrible. <coughs> okay. Uh, okay. 82942? Hmm. Oh, oh. can't go up there from what looks like. Um. Let's see. Okay, let's go. Sorry, it's just so silent. It was so silent. It's like, oh, I need to break the silence. <laughs> well, well, oh, look at that fancy tube. He's got a fancy fiery update. Yeah. People have been wanting those purple fires for a long time. Not in this game. Purple fire. Yeah. Purple fires are weird. Yeah. Mm. Yes, that's exactly what you think. I'm just gonna I'm thinking of the racing car game. Uh, Take a hit. Yes. Sorry, was too bad. Too bad, pair. Also. The world too loud. Well, if it's too quiet, it's better. Hey, ping on. I thought we were friends. Wait, what? Weren't we friends at one point? So did I. Yeah? That's weird. I think that's weird. So? So, I'm losing friends for some reason. So I go to make, hang out with someone and like, wait, we're not friends anymore? Like, did someone unfriend? Or is this VR chat glitching out? Hmm, interesting. Poo. Cool. 
I'm drinking that too. I'm, I'm part of so many Discord groups. <laughs> it's not even funny. Are you giving us a clue Not by sure. being in this position? Uh, like right here, usually Ren Diesel just like sits here in the window and you can, you can buy her Ren Diesel in the window. There's gotta be like a clue or something. Mm -hmm. They're not here right now, but sometimes they mm -hmm. It's chaos out there. I don't blame you all for wanting to skip this quest. Hmm. Oh no, it's the fact that I'm uh, always getting sidetracked. You know when you go into a public bus and you immediately regret it once you see what's happening on the bus? It's like that. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Right. Well, one minute remains. There's gotta be like a hidden clue or something, let's... No, at the moment the only thing you can do here is just kind of hang out, chat with the guards, chat with people. Well, we're gonna find that key before everybody else does. Sure. I think he, I, I think the Inquisitor definitely has the key, and he's like movie filling it up. He's hiding it from us. <coughs> That's why. He's, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's he's hiding it in the place where mm. the sun don't shine. So mm. just, um, we just we need to we need we need to get him to get, to get the key to make Alex. No, see, what you gotta do is you gotta get you gotta get your fisting glove ready. 
And then you just oh, gotta butter? jam it up there. Oh, all right. Yeah. All right. Excuse me. Go. Okay, good. Hello? Okay, first we have to stun the Inquisitor. So that, like, if, we're, if we jam something up there, he won't do anything. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we need a distraction. Who, want, who wants to volunteer as a distraction just while I, uh, hold <laughs> fist to the... <laughs> I know it's up here, the key. It has to be up here. Sadly, do not have the I didn't hear it, so I suppose that's a yes. Thank you. I, I suppose we're gonna... I suppose we're gonna get the bad ending, because I'm gonna fist to the Inquisitor. Bruh. Bruh. Yep. Is there any way well, convince like you to give us ten more minutes? Mm. Then it would be the good ending. Yeah. <laughs> I'm walking away. <laughs> Attention, <laughs> handsome tour guide. Everyone's here. <laughs> Friends and travelers, this quest has come to a close. NPCs, equalization and the armored. Have you deliberated? Uh, oh no. Not at this moment. <laughs> okay, I was gonna take a, yeah, I was just gonna take a picture of the right? sitting. Oh, you are right, shit, you are. Fuck. God, like animations. Where is the other one? The other one? Equalization. Other one. Are you speaking with Diamond nope. currently? Mm -hmm. I just got yeah. shushed by a hand. My friends, let's give them a few moments to figure out... <laughs> to compare data and figure out... Who they think the princes were. In the meantime, I have a riddle for you. Oh no. What is green? Uh, grass. Grass? Grass. 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 <coughs> grass. Things are green. <laughs> Invisible. <laughs> Mm. You are wrong with bent over thinking it. Red. What is green? Uh, grass. Green. The green? The color green. Traffic signal. The green. The color green. Not a creator. The color green. So green is green. The color green. The color green. Obviously. The color green is green. Obviously. Green is not a creator. Um. His green vest. I can see it. Never mind. <sighs> Equalization. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Any codex? Equal. Where is Diamond? The rat needs to get DNA. You have, uh, Am I blind? The rat has been separated. We have been separated there from the rat. Oh, oh, yes. needs a point at you. <laughs> uh, NPCs, the uh... armored equalization. It seems you have returned to the group. Have you discussed? No. We have discussed. Yes. Very well. And who do you think were the princes tonight? Though I mob, and. Whoever their partner was. Dull eye mob. Right here. Dull eye mob and Yugure Yoane. Are you a pair? Very well. Well. Will the princes please? Step in front of me. Yes, Holly, hello. That's right. Captain Panda and Skull Z Ghost were tonight's princes. Did you suspect them, or were they master liars? Hmm. My questions did not produce lies. Oh. Interesting. Then, friends, this quest is over, and the princes were not discovered. And so, the story 
goes as follows. As he walks across Moravos, the prince tries to shrink back into his cloak. His brother strides ahead, swift and confident. How does he do it? Every Moravian looks at them, stares at them. Do they know? Do they know who they are? Suddenly he bumps into his brother as he comes to an abrupt stop on a bridge. He looks past his brother. A city watchman is talking to an elderly couple across the bridge. The guard's back is to them. The brother backs up and guides them both another way. The prince glances across at the old couple. He can see the old woman looking at him, and she points the guard in the opposite direction. A short while later, the prince stops. What's that noise? A grinding, a deep rumbling. The storm returns. An image rushes up from the depths rising to meet him. Amidst vague, towering structures, a blue bird flits, darting from corner to corner, desperate. Giving pursuit is a red feline, stalking calmly, yet appearing in places where it shouldn't be. The bird is frantic, its movements urgent and panicked. It tries to stay silent, yet every beat of its wings betrays its location. And everything begins to redden. My friends, travelers, you have a choice to make. The prince has four options. Descend, divulge, dwell, distract. You have one minute to discuss what he should do, and after this time expires, one of you will be called upon to give an answer. Your time starts now. I say we stick with what we know and stick with detach. Yeah. Defend. Defend into whatever it is. If you have to pick... Ooh. Just to make sure that we can... Just to see what's going on. If Prince happens again after we get good ending, I kind of want to we... see what happens with something else. I have not I... seen good ending. I well, good ending is well, what struggle. What if I pick dwell? I know. What yes, I have seen mean? bad ending B. I've not There's seen bad ending A. Now the plenty of us. <laughs> get it, dwell. I mob got you. Sorry, like see. A, a hidden option called detach. Sorry, see. There's a bad ending C. I think uh, it was. What's, a, story. what's a bad ending story. C? There's extra choices up to Basically, he becomes a mindless tool. Right on, like, the prince is a mindless tool. That's a bad ending. Bad ending. Bad ending. Bad ending. Ocean. Travelers, your time is up. No, no, no. Travelers. Listen. I. I'm going to ask one A two nine four two. Do you speak? I'm not getting any response. Unfortunately, Can he's you use mute. the chat box feature. I 
that's right. Dafford W. J. Yes. Would you like, instead, to share your wisdom? All right. I think. What does the I prince think, do? I think we should um, stick with detach. Detach is not one of the options I gave. Are you sure? I'm sure. Are you positive? Positive as the plus sign. Would you stake your life on detach? Always last detached. Sure. Well, I tried. Very well. <laughs> <laughs> the prince takes a step back from himself. He observes his own fear, his own experience. He observes the vision from outside. With this clarity, he can see the truth. He remains among the strange structures fleeing from the fireborn beast. The red intensifies, and with it comes an unnatural warmth it glows, it rises, it burns. But it doesn't need to. This exists within the prince's mind. And his mind, at least for now, is his own. He stops running. He turns back. The fireborn is right there. The prince takes control and looks down into his own hands and realizes that he can defy the power of this enemy. He can defy. And in this vision, the prince remains. The brother carries him upon his back through the rest of the city. The prince is aware of being taken into the home of a veteran knight with a shimmering sword above the mantelpiece. He is aware of the brother attacking the friendly veteran before escaping into a hidden passage through the underworks of the city. My friends, please follow me. Liz House and the Blue Left? Everything is blue. I'm blue. I'm blue. Last That's one blue. over is a stinky zealot. I will be the sacrifice. Oh, bother. Look the door, friends. We definitely need to come Rock up with better questions in the future. Where's Rock Slayer? Like, oh, 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 did you change oh, about your rap. past? Oh, he went to go to the like, come on, yeah. that's like, what kind of question is that? Oh, uh, dear. Yeah, but, I mean, like, I didn't think it was a terrible, terrible question. question. Well, I mean, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> this one, this, this one. Fucking base stations. I'm probably gonna get. I'm probably gonna get a 2.0 base station for my birthday. So at least there's that. 
if they're still in stock. I would love to upgrade Pointers. to the fucking... Did you get the, some around the time the two pointers are over? Or you just have to do a little bit cheaper? Like, I, like I have one point of base station. Oh, not yes, the I darkness. Know. I know, but I would when did you get them? To the... Cast magic I missile. Cast magic thing. missile. I got him a while ago. Well, you bought them early, knowing that you wanted to get right. something in the future. Did you, you say, say magic missile? Like Excuse me, where did this off. come from? Who did me. this? Even here. You did that? That's right! Oh, uh, yes. I have controls everywhere. I have been replaced! Yeah, I know. He has a button. Panda, remember? I've actually been replaced! I've actually been replaced! Panda, Panda, remember when I said I'd get a better... Panda? Well, I don't have any Panda, but I have I have a new friend, and, and they're better than you, so... Damn! Oh, but I guess... Udon. <laughs> I mean, can't we understand English too well either, so... Mm. But I want soup. I, mean, I don't want like marshmallows. <sighs> oh well, I was getting a bum cup of... Well, you can't fully the pick the it up, I... The would be too close to the entrance <laughs> of the... Force. If I just write question mark, W the question mark, why did you Did I get it? You got it. Cute but pain. Uh, yeah. You need, in order to, you have to have it touch your head. She was just whispering lore to you. Really? Oh, scoop back. <laughs> like the actual yeah. marshmallow. He said that maybe she's born like, with so it. So scoop back a little. it's L'Oreal. You ate it. Oh, that's right. Horrible, yeah. horrible yeah. puss. Yeah. Okay, you just turned yeah. this yeah. one into a toy. The trouble is your oh, attention, no. please. The okay. story must continue. Wait, I thought there was a break. The break is moved to later in the tour because of the choices you have made. Uh, the choices are different. Chapter 3. It's after sundown by the time the brothers emerge. The underworks tunnel led them to an old mill. And from there they followed trails until coming upon the eastern road. Moravos looms in the distance, gently glowing in the moonlight as the prince slumps to the ground. His legs and feet ache, his stomach growls, he's tired and he's sore and he's short on breath. His brother is just looking through a bag that he's carrying. How does he do it? How does he keep going? Can't we go back? The prince bites his lip. He didn't mean to say that aloud. Go back? The brother lifts his head. Go back. Go back and what? Face the fireborn? He'll kill you. And then he'll lock me away, or he'll kill me as well. He'll tell everyone that the Oracle chose him, and nobody could disagree. The minor church would change forever. Mother will be powerless to stop him, and then Dacia will invade, and the people will have to live under the rule of one of two monsters. No, we're not going back. Not until I find a way to stop the Inquisitor. And while I search, going to stop the Dacians. We will. We will go to Felden, and we'll warn them of the Dacians. We'll help defend the town. I'll kill every Dacian if I have to. We can still make a difference. I won't have another lake for it. Do you hear me? We still stop it. Please, stop. You're scaring me. just you and me. There's nobody else who can save us. It's just us. Listen, I, I'm, I'm, I'm scared. 
scaring you. I see that. I don't like to see you so afraid. But what I'm doing must be done. I am... Do you remember when we were little and we found that nest in the old town? And we spotted the mother, a blue wing, coming back to feed her chicks that evening. We even named them, too. Dusty, Scylla, and... Pickle? Pickle. Little Pickle. And then the cat found the nest. The mother bird fought so fiercely. But you asked me why it happened. Do you remember what I said to you? Mana is kind, life is cruel. That's right. Right now, two little birds have to leave the nest. The cat is after them. If the birds aren't in the nest, the mother can fly to safety and the cat can't reach her. But the cat is sly. It's going to try to trick other animals into helping it, so the little birds might have to do some things that seem bad, just so they don't get eaten. They have to, well, learn to fly, or find another cat who will help them. The prince nods slowly. He can see, he can feel how hard it is for his brother. He doesn't want to do the things he's doing. He has to. They must survive. He wants to reach out for his brother and hug him. But he cannot bring himself to move. We can go through the Duke's world, the brother says as he stands. It will be dangerous, but it's the fastest way to Felden. Do you still have my... The brother stops. He looks down. The prince is hugging him tightly. Hey. It's all right. It's all right. Look, when this is all over, we'll sail to Laodicea. We'll go to the sacred lands. We'll, we'll go together, just you and me. Would you like that? The prince wipes his face. Laodicea? Really? Do you swear? The brother smiles and the world gets a little bit brighter. I swear. My friends. The brothers have a perilous task ahead. They must cross the Duke's world in the dark of night and they're going to need your help. Please, follow me this way. Ooh, cool. Team <laughs> no, I cooked it's goose. Cheers. It's good. <laughs> Pretty well be eating the goose.
Seas. Diamond. Equalization. Please change into your Duke's World avatars now. Oh my. Holy crap. Oh, hello. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what is what am I looking at? Ah. <laughs> How horrific. Oh. <laughs> Very <sorry>. well. <laughs> Whoa. Is that mm. so big? <laughs> Wait, like, that's not fair. And who sees? Wow. Get ready to move on and prepare. Everyone else, please remain here. The fuck it. Is that from Elden Ring? All right, get ready. No, oh, you're gonna need to be ready. Sleep. You're gonna need to be ready for I that. I like it. Uh oh. Is that from the hit game, The Very Elder? Well. Travelers, while they prepare, allow me to explain the rules of your next quest. The Duke's Wild at Night is not a safe haven, but it does bear resources that they may need on their journey. The rules for your quest are as follows. You must navigate your way through the Duke's Wild, which, according to legend, is haunted. You must collect as many resources as you can. Each traveler has five bundles of wood and five clusters of berries to find. You must avoid the Duke's Wild Phantom. Its terror will render you immobile for several seconds, costing you valuable time. The Phantom may teleport to any Phantom Fire at any point in time, so stay alert. You are being observed. Please avoid using avatars that are really tiny, really large, or invisible. Once you have completed your mission, you can either make your way to the end where I will be waiting for you, or stay behind to act as a distraction for the Phantom. Please do not use teleportation shortcuts while inside this quest. After your five minute timer expires, all remaining resources will disappear and you will be escorted to the end. Allow me a moment to confirm that the NPCs are ready. Yeah, what kind of fucking safe on your backpack? Ready to go around. My backpack. I think that's. His backpack is, is the safe. safe. Okay. Look, because okay. it's safe. Because you all can't be trusted. Uh, I am very Jane trustworthy. I'll have you know. They'll be hidden so around the world. Why don't I feel safe around you? So look right. up and down. No, no pocket dimensions of you shouldn't. four winds. To carry so a and be careful. You're right. So right. 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 If you don't know your time okay. begins now. Look around, people. Oh, oh, oh there you go. Oh, did we oh, get oh, caught? Oh, oh, it feels like we already got caught. Yeah, that's fucking oh, terrible. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Alright. Wood right here. There's wood right here. Berry. And log. There's wood over here. There's wood over here. <laughs> Berries and logs. Ground for logs. Log. Oh, I, crap, he got me, he got me. Ew, ew. Ew, ew. Oh, mega, oh, oh. Hey, oh, hey, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Who the world? Oh. 
probably just pass in the middle. Potentially. Probably pass in the middle, I've isn't it? been skimming the edges and they've got... Oh, log. So I've got five items at the moment. I must have missed some stuff. Yeah, I've got five items yeah. just from skimming the outside. Well, this Very... sticks. No, don't go that way, don't go that way. Hey, well. Oh, run, 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 run. Look out! Me have been coming. Fuck. Oh no, dude, zero run. Do I need I have four wood I have three wood, four berries, I need more. Even distribution. I wouldn't know what you're missing. Hmm. Yeah, I might have already grabbed the first one. What just happened? What just happened? Mm -hmm. um, what just happened? happened? I believe we uh -oh. just had uh -oh. chat around. Well, I'm gonna go for the peanut. Uh -oh. um, Has that been a minute for anyone else? <laughs> kind of um, yeah. 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 yeah, I see a giant skybox there. What? I haven't just gotten uh -huh. it broken. Where's the teleport button? It was near. Uh, uh, um, oh, oh, okay, what is happening? Uh, um, okay. we just all it's fell through the ground. Here. It's above here! Um, <laughs> I don't know why we both fall it's through the ground, here. and because I can't be arsed, I have a flying avatar. The teleport button is over here. <laughs> How about anyway, I can you bring people up one by one? Yeah. Okay. Okay, the teleport button is over this way. Uh, no worries. I don't know. We're thinking. We're figuring it out. Uh, okay. Protag Chan, do you have the world in explore mode or tour mode? Uh, orange mode, Whoa, tour mode. Um, because explore mode says it's like, says it's like explore the map because it's always on Nihau. default. Like, explore, <laughs> like tour. Nihau. Right. The button should only appear if you're in explore mm -hmm. mode. Can you respawn Yo, and the just check? <laughs> oh, so okay. Yes, yeah, we know. Okay, we know. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Throw a little. That, I think that was my fault. Maybe I don't know. What did you do? You? What did you do? I didn't find anything. Uh, okay, I, I, I didn't something. find anything special. <laughs> I got four four berries and four and four. Oh, you got four berries. I got five four berries. Four, really? five, four <laughs> five berries. I got five <laughs> two. You guys you suck my ass. ass. This was uh, all diegetic. <laughs> uh, that was the effect of uh, Damn it, the it, 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 
The numbers, what do they mean? Because the effects of what? But there is usually like a little red line. I didn't, uh, we didn't do it. We didn't make it last time. Oh, sorry. Damn it. We don't have time for this. Where is the broadcast station? So you still want the 30% discount and you always lose? I couldn't find anything more after that. There's this bit. Anything hurts. My role as an NPC. It'll only be for the NPC. Consume the rations you can You don't have to do that, you can just walk you can walk across this log, you do know that, right? Oh. So we set up camp again. That's really good. I need that so we're all ready kids. No worries, friends. Just a glitch. We've confirmed that everything's alright. Stay here. Can you depose? Can you do the depose? I can do the depose too. Okay, there you go. Probably triggered something else. I'm always deposing in spirit, Gio. Guys, he's powerful. He's powerful. He's powerful. Guys, he's deposing without deposing. That's true, Brian. I was unaware. I wasn't aware that he could just hang the out there. The guy in the Samurai Avatar. Little classic A-post. That was not him, though. Which one was, was it? Was it, was it tr Trojan? This is so chaotic. Uh, Did you just call so him Trojan? Uh, even the maze itself was so No, Trojan. Tro tro I meant Trojan. <laughs> Did you just fucking... That's him? weird. He just called you Trojan. <laughs> My friends. Uh, Atari, I mean, Trojan. I ask for your attention, was... please. There may have been some small bugs as you saw. Don't worry. Everything is fine and the story will continue as normal. Interesting. The brothers come to a clearing. A steep river cuts through the middle of it. Nearby moss covered bricks sit, indifferent as the forest slowly consumes them. The boys drink and refill their flasks and wash their faces. The prince catches a glimpse of himself in the glittering water. He barely recognizes this face. He looks unkempt, disheveled, common. He pulls his cloak in tight and sits back. We can rest here tonight. The brother says, gathering some sticks together. The prince watches as his brother soon has a small fire burning. He lies down beside it as the brother sits against an old piece of masonry. <coughs> the prince stares at the fire. The flames stare back. His face is warm, but his back is cold. How does he do it? How does he keep going like this? I just want to hide. He's good at everything. I'm not good at anything. The past few days catch up to him all at once. And within minutes, he slips into a deep sleep. Oh, whoa, what's this? Oh, whoa, what's this? Oh, whoa. An image rushes up from the depths, rising to meet him. Across a twilight meadow, a pack of black wolves bound, long grass whipping by. They're on the hunt, following a scent on the cool wind. But the hunters are also hunted. 
something else stirs the grass, and though it evades the eyes, its presence can be felt. A sense of something imminently wrong. A feeling that things are not how they should be. A shadow is in pursuit. My friends, you have a choice to make. The prince has four options. Descend, divulge, dwell, distract. And as always, you have one minute to discuss, and after this time expires, one of you will be called upon to give an answer. Your time starts now. Well, do you remember, I have a theory. Detach. I genuinely wonder, like, what Pan was saying earlier yeah. about drifting in cloud work. So, I also have to touch. this vision wasn't always here, correct? I don't dream. know, but that's why wow. I really had to find my option. Here, right? Dream, I drift. Well, I don't know if dreaming is possible because we're already dreaming. Yeah. But like, yeah. I think drifting might be possible. I mean, so, yes, yeah, so I say that for now, no, let's stick with detach. Detach is a secret ending or something. I mean, so far, I don't think it's going to be changed from any other. Ones that yeah. they would detach. I don't know. I mean, so, if we right? detach, yeah, then, but, well, yeah. if we just detach, then we're just going to be the same as always. But if we drift, who knows what happens if we drift? If we drift away, the story changes. Mm, yes, it could change the and the if anything I don't know you if you can detach while that, that is once again assuming that you can just say stuff which I mean yes, but, we, but we've never tried it we've only been thought about to wake up travelers you are out of time we haven't gotten to wake up yet I am going to call upon Menacing Zero. Oh, well. Do you speak? What is the best idea you have heard? That will be uh, detach, I suppose. Detach. You suppose you don't sound very certain. Are you sure? Better this option than the other ones. So, indeed, I am sure. Very well. Prince takes a step back from himself. He observes his own fear, his own experience. He observes the vision from outside. With this clarity, he can see the truth. The shadow closes in on the Dacians. They don't seem aware of it at all. It draws closer and closer, ever silent, ever dark, until it reaches the soldiers and it becomes one of them. The shadow has joined them and they are oblivious. The shadow draws its sword and instinctually the prince grabs the grip of his own sword, readying himself. But the shadow does not strike the Dacians. It does not strike. They continue their march with the intruder among them, and before long they are over the next hill, leaving the prince alone.
so. Wake up. Never mind. Wake up. The prince is shaken. The sky is a soft blue gray, and the brother is crouched over him, looking at something else. There are voices nearby. The prince rubs his eyes and turns to look. Across the river are soldiers in black, carrying spears and swords with foreign emblems upon their shields. They're pushing a cart through the clearing. Dations, the brother whispers. The veterans said they might be here. Either they're preparing to besiege Felden or they've already taken it. Hmm. Maybe I can find their camp, find their general, and... He looks down at the prince, his expression softening. Come on, let's get a closer look. We need to know what they're up to. They gather their things, scoop dirt over the charcoal, and carefully make their way across the river to the other side of the clearing. My friends, the beaches are dangerously close. This way. Okay, as I was saying, yeah. Emma. Um, yes. So. Uh -oh. I Where did everybody go? Wait, was I supposed to do something back there? Where is everyone? I don't know. See what's going on. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Oh, what happened? A bunch of people having problems with the wall. Man, imagine struggling with the wall. Nice try, the Encephalon. Problems, me sees. <laughs> so encephalon. We've encephalon? detached what too much. Encephalon? Reality is un unraveling. <laughs> it's here. It's yeah. <laughs> It's making up on all of them. in this world. Mm. Hey? Mm. <laughs> this is a bad joke. On my leg. hide in the undergrowth. The outer walls of Felden bloom over the trees, scarred by past battles, defaced by nature. There's a large gathering of Dacian soldiers just outside the small gate, bringing supplies inside. So, Felden has already been taken by Dacia. Maybe they were already here and didn't need any distractions. There are too many of them, the brother whispers. But maybe... The brother creeps forward a couple of steps, lifting himself a little higher. The prince's heart jumps. Is he going to run in and fight them? How can they not see him? When the gate is clear, run inside and hide in the town. I'll find you. What? I'm going to draw them away. Are you ready? I... I think so. The brother turns back to the Dacians. 
There were at least seven of them left after the rest went inside. The brother scoops up a fist-sized rock into one hand and waits and waits. And without warning, the brother jumps to his feet and he breaks into a sprint. He ditches the rock at a soldier and it strikes him square in the helmet. There's a cry, yelling, and they call him names the prince has never heard before. The brother runs to the left, diving back between trees, moving parallel to Felden's outer wall. Five soldiers give chase, and two remain, hesitant to follow. They both draw their swords, staring in the direction everybody went. Wait, his brother's sword. He might need it, but, but it's too late. He unsheathes it just in case. Even in the dull light of dawn, its golden gilding glints. Who's there? The prince looks up. The two soldiers are headed his way. He must have made some noise. He freezes and holds his breath. His blood begins to drain from the top of his body. His legs go numb. No, no, lose interest. Turn around. Go away. Leave me alone. Please, please, leave me alone. Hey, there's someone in the trees. No. The prince scrambles into a sprint away from them. The Dacians yell after him as he thuds through the underbrush. Go away. Stop following me. Go away. Around a tree, under a log, over a rock, through tall grass, I think, getting closer. He can hear their boots pounding, the ground, the swords slashing through low-hanging branches. He can hear their heavy breaths. He can feel it on the back of his neck. No, 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 leave me alone. He keeps running and running, and he slips on muddy ground. And then... The ground vanishes, the forest rises up, careening overhead as he topples into ice-cold waters. My friends, please follow me. My friends, at this point in the story, there is a break designated for your convenience. Have a snack, rehydrate, and use the restrooms if you need to. Please, be back here for the story to continue in four minutes. Time to grab some crackers. Yeah, I'm gonna get some stuff. Um, mm. this is incredible. Where the darkness is right here. Ayo, hey, ayo, oh, hey, oh. Codex, this is incredible so far. What, what do you think, Codex? I think it's oh, amazing. Oh, great hypercube. Where is the door of the darkness? Also, Highlang's online now, so I sent a few messages to Highlang in case uh, they want to join. But, I uh, mean, it's on the last chapter or so now, so, eh. Uh, but oh well. Alright then.
I really want some ice cold water right now for some reason. So I'm going to go and get that. <laughs> I do be the return. Yeah, I'll be back shortly. I'm there cooking up soup. Ayo, ayo. Sorry. I'll give my final <laughs> score and verdict at the end of the story. Trade him. Alright, that's understandable, Codex. Hmm? I'm just uh, saying stuff. Yes. I hope I'll enjoy it. To eat bring the marshmallow to your head. Mm. As I remember what you said about keeping to the theme and narrative, I Delicious. totally intend to do that, which is why I Delicious. am Delicious. asking Delicious. this question. For although it's not um, related to the theme of the story, it is per tradition as to not anger the gods of the ocean and I must perform a ritual towards a fire during every tour at least once. I would ask for your permission to do this. A ritual for the fireborn? An interesting show ocean. of allegiance, bright egg. For the ocean born. The ocean gods. Yes, we have been doing We're it for a long time. We're extinguishing the fire for the ocean. We've been doing it since the pilot. It's a very old the and uh, sacred traditional tradition. May I be old allowed to do sacred. so? Yes, that's what they call me. We only have two minutes left, but sure. Right in front of my fucking face. Oh god. Uh, you're, definitely, you're definitely contributing to pollution, that's for sure. Why is it not? Damn straight. <laughs> well, oh. you spelled me as well, so, but yes. Uh -oh. We'll see how you do. Okay, uh oh. Uh oh, doesn't sound good. But you do enjoy the experience, right? Soup anywhere? Hmm. Marshmallows, but no <laughs> soup. If we can find the goose again, we might be able to get some soup. I miss the goose. is about to be up. Better do it quick, brother. I call this one the Campfire Song Song. Let's gather around the campfire and sing our campfire song. <laughs> our D A M B F I R E S O N G song. Thank you for the copyright and if you don't think hey, that enough. we can sing it faster than you're wrong, but it'll help if you just sing along. We can sing it faster than you are. The is really that's crazy. It's over. Travelers, I ask for your attention. We must continue the story. I'm sure miss. <laughs> Please gather somewhere where you can clearly hear me and we will continue. Oh, I missed nothing. <laughs> okay, I'm alright. Chapter 4 
the prince comes to. Something is pulling on his leg. He opens his eyes to see a mangy dog trying to drag him by the ankle. He panics and kicks at it, and, not expecting retaliation, it darts away with a yelp. <laughs> the prince takes in his surroundings. I'm just doing the instincts. I don't think he knows what to do. He's inside a town, right by the water's edge, utterly soaked. He shivers and sits up. Everything hurts. He looks up, up at the town structures and the sword. It's still here, firmly in its sheath. He makes sure it's out of sight and gets to his feet, heading into the town of Felden. My friends, please follow me. Yes, we have a sword and a shield. <laughs> a shield? He's referring about the prince, not the brother. No. Oh, the, the brother. No, I meant, does, what? does the prince have his sword? Does the, have, the, have the brother's sword still? In general, yes. The prince okay, hears a commotion ahead. There's a line of people with wooden balls outside a door. He can see Dacians yeah. inside the building, giving out food, the same amount to each person. Next in line is an old lady who can barely place one foot before the other. Please, kind sirs, if I may, I would like a little more than usual. My dear canine friend, his name is Riot, you see. He's going hungry. He's all skin and bone. Please, sirs. Oh, that's not fair, says a townsman right behind her. What does she get more? Peace, peace, orders the soldier. He regards the elderly woman carefully. Hmm. Fine, have extra, but just this once. Oh, bless you, Vana, bless you. And here... The soldier adds, offering the wooden stick. Seems like you're having trouble walking. The elderly woman is overcome. The prince turns away, wanting to distance himself from the scene. These are just normal people, he says to himself quietly. They didn't do anything. As he hurries away, he bumps into a group of strangers. He mutters an apology and tries to move around them, but they block his exit. He peers up at them carefully. Those faces. Well, look who we have here. Zealous. The prince feels panic bubble up inside him. He wants to shout for help. But there are so many people about. The Dacians might help the zealots. A fight may break out. Innocent people will get hurt. No. No, there's too much risk. Come now, lad. No more running. My friends, the prince has no choice. This way. Seriously, do we have? Lily, does the prince Lily, still have the brother's sword or not? I, I missed that part. He does. Okay, do. he does. I wasn't sure. I don't know why it's important, to be honest. I I feel like it might be, cause like why why would? Like 
the armor. I have a. I have a. So, I'll tell you the, my theory. I'll tell you the theory later if it's not validation. Yeah, I yeah, know. I feel like it has to do with that. It's just theory. Are you a robot? This whole ass one into no. the temple. Okay. Oh. I'm a ghost. But you're you're good. Your limbs. But your limbs. They look robotic. Your legs, at least. Maybe, maybe. Oh, the kneecaps. Never mind. Forget it. <laughs> oh, whoa, what's this? Hello? <laughs> what's that, Fridge? Oh, 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 perfect. <laughs> The zealots lead the prince down some old rock-hewn steps and through another door, and the passage opens up to a large and dark room. <laughs> Carved niches hold sickly candles. Many figures in red stand near the corners, watching <clears throat> silent. <clears throat> Fireborn, says one of the zealots, we have the prince. A shadow that the prince didn't see until just now slowly turns. It is a titan of a man with a broad chest and square shoulders draped in dark crimson robes. His face is like a statue, chiseled, weathered, bearing a fearsome grin. The young prince, how I have searched for you. Tell me, where is your brother? Where is the heir? Find him alone, Fireborn. Within the shadow spotted by the west gate was the heir, but he hasn't been seen since. Yeah, it matters not. It is you I want. Ocean born. Yes, your brother told you, did he not? I assume he saw the whole thing. Else, why would he flee with you the way he did? The Inquisitor approaches, the shadow of his shadow creeping closer. Listen to me very carefully. If your brother told you I want you dead, he was lying to you. What would, what use would you be to me then? Indeed, I am the one chosen by God. I am the fireborn, wielder of the infernal miracles, and you, you and I, share a goal. I have no desire to take the lives of any of your family members, unless they leave me no choice. No. The death I seek is that of Daisha. And you do too, do you not? What would your brother say were he here? He fought against Daisha. They have tried to invade us for decades now. Why, evil Dacian spirits destroyed Lakefort and started the whole war, didn't they? Didn't they? You see it, don't you? You didn't just have a vision. No, you summoned a great power. You made the earth open its moor. You destroyed Lakefort. The war started because of you, don't you see? You and I are so alike. We both wield miracles. The only difference, my prince, is that you have no idea how to harness it. That is no fault of yours. That is where I come in. As one chosen by God, it has been revealed to me through divine wisdom that you are my enemy. But it doesn't have to be this way. I know how to help you. The Church of Varna has a place for you. A Lazarus has a place for you. 
I have a gift. A crown, your crown, not that of a king, but of a mighty wielder of miracles. Accept this gift, sire. Release your potential. Place it upon your head. Feel the crown beckoning. The prince stares at the circlet offered to him. The two parallel bands have a dull shine, but it is otherwise featureless. Like for his brother, Dacia. The prince watches as the circlet glows with the lure. The war with Dacia is his fault. The Inquisitor is right. He must be right. Do I want to wear the crown? Do I want to wear the crown? Do I want to wear the crown? Yes. Yes, I do. The prince accepts what is offered to him. The moment he makes contact, heat passes through him, rippling, coursing, leaving numbness in its wake. He raises it up and places it upon his head. The Inquisitor smiles, and everything is changed forever. He sees the storm again, but this vision isn't like the others. The waves churn, the wind cuts, the thunder rolls, the storm is real. It is here. It is hellfire. Flames roar outward, filling the underground space in an instant. All is red, then white, then blinding, searing. The prince screams, and the fire roars back. And then... Darkness returns, and in the darkness, embers glow, cooked stone, scorched corpses, everything choked with soot and ash. The prince gets up and looks for the Inquisitor. Is he dead? Did the firestorm take his life? No. Rising up with him is a great shadow. Though the zealots have been reduced to mere embers, another stands towering, indomitable. Fireborn. And the Inquisitor speaks, and cinders fall from his mouth. My prince, come, we have much work to do.
the prince and the inquisitor stand on an old bridge atop a hill. In the valley below lies Felden, painted orange and blue in the light of the setting sun. The sky is clear, all is quiet. Do you know why I brought you here? The prince does not know. He's losing track of his own thoughts. He's losing track of reason, of time. He thinks the other zealots are dead, but he isn't sure. There was fire. Lots of fire, and his mind aches. Something blocks his attempts. Something else is in there, in his mind. The Dustborn was right. You are the Chosen One, granted influence upon this world like no other. Chosen by an enemy of the church, an enemy of God, the very God who chose me and bestowed upon me the miracle of fire. We are both chosen. Hmm. We are not so different. A task has been revealed to me. Felden has become infested with Dacians. But even before then, Felden deserved this judgment. The Inquisitor looks down at his own hands. He looks at them for a long while, his expression wavering somewhere between sadness and spite. Then he lifts his gaze up, up toward the heavens. The prince looks up with him at the vast, deep, empty sky. Val Swift. Halberd. Oradea, Medias, Felden, may the heavens come down upon them, and may they be reduced to ashes. An image rushes up from the depths, rising to meet him. From up high, a massive expanse of land stretches out before him. Rivers are ribbons of silver. Mountains are mounds of soil and stones. Towns and cities are smudges of beige and gray, and the sea is but a distant shimmer. Entire realms can fit within his grasp. And he reaches out and begins to close his hand around the kingdom. A face appears before a flickering candle. Eyes closed, peaceful, beautiful. Porcelain white. He watches her sleep. He watches her. My friends. My friends, you have a choice to make. The prince has the following options. Destroy, 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 destroy. You have one minute to discuss. Your time starts now. 
Defy. All of the above. Defy. Yes. Almost there is a uh, For people who don't know, there is a hidden option. There is a Define hidden option that is the five. How do you know where I live? Yeah, I think she said it out the mm -hmm. hidden yes. option. Oh, you mean the blue and the eye? To add to this. <laughs> no, that's not even thing, I see. Yeah. Uh, All right, interesting. No, I can't miss it. It's a massive pouch, but it's like. You haven't actually seen me yet, have you? So far? Well, oh yeah, it's amazing. Well, I think it's great. Absolutely amazing. In like 2,000 hours of VR chat, I haven't really experienced anything this cool, I don't think. Like, damn. It's a pretty niche nah. group, so... Yeah, huh? yeah. it's, it's amazing. The mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. like, uh, damn. Uh, it is also, really good. Also, kind of want to... <laughs> do what the... <laughs> see the after party, but... Do you like? Mm -hmm. do you like yeah. I suppose I should... Oh, yeah, the after like party. Going fine. That's the thing. That's the thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's true. Okay, oh. The time for discussion has ended. Noir. Did you put your name in the goblet of? I mean, what is your choice? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's easy. Defy. I mean, defy. Defy. Defy, defy is him. not one of the options I gave. Are you sure? And yet I, ch and yet I choose it anyway. And yes, yet. I'm sure. The Travelers Defy. Very well. <laughs> I love dramatics. Chapter five. No. The prince shakes his head. No. He doesn't want to. The crown pushes, but he resists. He can't. He destroyed Lakefort. It was his vision. His will. He started the war, not Dacia. But if he destroyed Lakefort just by envisioning its destruction, then that means. Answer its call. I won't. The prince can feel his brother's sword at his side. He can't forget who he is. He won't forget. I'm sorry. What did you say? No. I won't answer its call. You won't? What? You refuse? <laughs> Foolish boy! Don't you realize that you are a weapon? Weapons can't choose who dies and who lives. No, that is the responsibility of the wielder. The prince turns fully to face the Inquisitor. 
I wield my own power. And he closes his eyes. And he wishes. He wishes for the Inquisitor to not be here. He wishes to send him far, far away. He tries to visualize the giant man somewhere else. With all his heart, he wishes. Something shines upon his eyelids, a brilliant light, before fading. Slowly, he opens his eyes. The prince stands upon the hill, alone. He tries to remove the crown, but for some reason he cannot bring himself to touch it. And then, all at once, in the safety of isolation, he remembers everything that has happened, and he drops to his knees. It was me. I destroyed Lakeford. I opened the earth. My vision. And that means the storm that killed my father was... He looks up. A figure stands nearby. A man in black armor, the visor lowered on his dented helmet. A Dacian soldier. The two stare at one another, silent. Wordless. Then others come up the hill, more Dacian soldiers pointing spears and swords at the prince. One with a crest steps forth. You there, boy, identify yourself and explain that light. The prince looks to the helmeted Dacian who arrived first and then back to their leader. This is his chance. This is how he can fix everything. He slowly stands and pulls aside his cloak, revealing his brother's regal blade. I... I am the prince of Lazarus. My friends, please follow me. Oh. At least we got some action. Bum, 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 bum. Dun, I like Terminator dun, dun, music. Bum, 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 bum. Sounds like we're going to have a boss battle. Have you seen this boy with the sword? <laughs> bum, bum. There's again, interesting. Secret chapter five, is it? <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, we're in unusual territory. This is very interesting. Oni, were you here when we did the Yeah, you were at least once. Yes. Oh, yeah. I have been here before. Yeah, you were here for one of them. Personally, I think we should jump first. The general stops just outside the door to a manor in Felden. The prince remains surrounded by Dacian soldiers, the helmeted Dacian right behind him. I want the forest patrolled all night, the general says to one of his men. Bring me the accounts of the scouts who went west, and ready the siege engineers, send word to the commanders to march at dawn, and someone find those cursed zealots. They're gone. The general stops, and the soldiers stop with him. He glances back over his shoulder at the prince. What did you say? The zealots are gone. I was with them beneath Felden. The Inquisitor burned them all, and then I made him disappear with that light you saw. The soldiers look at one another, 
muttering and murmuring. The general watches, glancing at his subordinates. I can show you where it happened. What are you doing? The prince thinks to himself. You aren't your brother. Nobody will listen to you. And these are Dacians. They've been invading Elizabeth for five years. But another voice inside him speaks up. No. They didn't start the war, and neither did Lazarus. I started the war, and I can end it. Let me go back to Moravos. I'll speak with my mother. Without the Inquisitor there, we're safe. We don't have to fight. I'll explain what happened, and she'll make you a peace offer. I know she will. He can feel tension all through his body, but the fear does not possess him. I know I'm young. I know I don't look like much. But I can end this war. I can. What do you know that I don't? The general approaches the prince. I... I... The zealots. The zealots started the war. It was a tr trick. What happened at Layford? That's their fault. My mother never wanted war. My father never wanted war. We don't have to fight anymore. Because the zealots are gone. Show me. Show me where the zealots were. My friends, please follow me. The prince's home stands tall and majestic, unscarred despite years of war. The garrison had allowed them into Moravos on hearing Dacia was here to sue for peace. Despite this, the prince feels a great discomfort. At the entrance stands a small host of knights, and in their middle is the silver Aegis, armed and armored. The general approaches with the prince, and the Aegis moves to meet them in the middle. A silence hangs. Your mother will be glad to have you safe by her side again, sire, she says to the prince, and I am glad to see you alive and well. She turns her attention to the Dacian general. I'm told here, I'm told you are here to talk peace with the queen. As it stands, myself and my aegises are all that remains between you and her majesty the queen. Tell me, Dacian, why should I let you go any further? The general pulls off his helmet and holds it under one arm. I have seen the zealots myself, dead and burned, and I am told they were responsible for Lekwo. Acting against your queen's will, taking advantage of the absence of your king. He pauses and nods. Daisha is willing to move past this conflict, and as a token of trust, we return to you, your prince. What of the eldest, the heir? 
the Aegis scans the host of Dacians, her helmet still on. All our efforts to find him were in vain. He has eluded us completely. The Aegis looks back and forth across the Dacians twice, more. She looks like a steel fortress, foreboding and immovable, shining both silver from the moon, orange from the braziers. That is regrettable. Well, Her Majesty remains skeptical. You will understand that she has requested to see her son return to her before any further talks. The general nods again. I do understand. And you will understand that I request to send at least one of my own in with the prince to at least confirm circumstances firsthand. The Aegis gives a shrug. Fine. You... She points at one of them. Come with us. The silver Aegis, the prince, and the helmeted Dacian enter the palace together. My friends, please follow me. The throne room is tall, empty, and cold. Any comfort offered by the moon withheld by stained glass. Upon the throne sits the queen. She makes no movement upon seeing her own son. The silver aegis approaches the queen and takes a knee. Your majesty, the aegis gestures behind herself. The Dacians have proven useful. The royal family is reunited. The prince blinks. Reunited? What, what of his brother? The queen says nothing. The prince looks at her from across the room, at her empty eyes, at her regal crown, and sudden pressure builds in his mind. He feels the crown respond it's too much. He drops to all fours with a cry. Steel sings as the helmet Dacian draws his sword. The Aegis stands, slowly, calmly, still facing the throne, and draws her own sword very intentionally, the blade and hilt glimmering. But that's not her sword. She pulls off her own gauntlet and draws the blade across her exposed palm, unflinching. The crimson trail begins to glow and it catches fire. The flames erupt with a roar and the aegis is engulfed. And when the inferno dies, the Inquisitor stands in her place, 
He turns to the prince, his robes whirling, his eyes gleaming, the moonlight blood red. Without warning, the helmeted Dacian runs at the Inquisitor, leaping at him for a strike. With barely any effort and a flash of flame, the Inquisitor knocks him aside. Metal clangs as the Dacian's dented helmet bounces away. The prince's heart drops as he realizes who this Dacian truly is. I owe you my utmost gratitude, young sire, the Inquisitor says to the prince. You brought the Dacian general directly to me, and I suppose I must also thank your brother for providing me with such a convenient opportunity. Why, nobody but he and I knew the Silver Aegis's true fate. Ah, oh, she made the perfect disguise. The prince, still unable to stand, still feeling a weight in his mind, stares in disbelief. My own brother killed the Aegis? No, no, he wouldn't. He told me he didn't. He swore. It's a lie. Oh, I'm afraid it's no lie. Although, to be fair, I don't think he did it intentionally. One might call it a rather unfortunate sequence of events. That he violently initiated. Fairness aside, there is work to be done. My young prince, I have no qualm with you. We have spoken already. Come to see eye to eye, if you will. No, you are not the problem here. And he points the glimmering sword at the prince's brother, just now recovering from the blow. The heir will not become king. He has joined the ranks of the enemy, murdered his own mentor and guardian, betrayed his own kingdom, and turned his back to God. And so he must perish in divine flames. And his sword ignites, casting brilliance throughout the dim chamber, and the Inquisitor's eye sockets are empty, burning with embers. <laughs> I, I, I don't care about being king, the brother says, grabbing his own weapon and struggling to his feet. I don't even care about Dacia anymore. They didn't start the war. It was... It was my brother's own gift. I don't exactly know how his gift works, but I do know that he didn't mean it. He didn't want there to be a war. He didn't want to cause the storm. He needs help. He needs someone to look up to. Someone who won't leave him. And... And I'm his brother. It's my duty to look after him. He means the world to me. I would... I would die for him. Do you hear me, Inquisitor? I would die for him! Oh, really? How convenient. Well, I suppose, then, it's time to pay the price. The Inquisitor plants both feet firmly on the ground and thrusts his offhand forth. A lick of fire erupts from his fingertips, blazing toward the brother. The prince is paralyzed by the crown. What does the brother do? You have two minutes to decide. Heal. Hmm. Oh shit. I s- yeah. I s- okay, it's, it's not a whip this time. It's not a whip? No, it, 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 it is. Oh, it changed, it? It is a whip. It is exactly no, the same whip. No, it is a whip. It's everything that it's been. It is a whip. Yes. Here's what we know. Dodging doesn't work and blocking doesn't work. Correct? 
So shield. We haven't tried the shield. Try the shield. We haven't tried the shield, so we could try one from the shield. Yeah. We didn't know we had any. Hey, hey Trey, can, can we can we know so exactly what the shield the shields shields should be safe for the second half? We have a shield and a sword. There's no yeah, other time we can really use the shield except for like the rush, because the because the giant explosion doesn't matter. That's it. We have to make sure that doesn't happen. That happens. Should we try using the shield? I think that's the best point in this. We need an upper hand. Okay. We should probably pass it around then. Um, can we gotta use our yeah. shield. Do you have a mission? Hey, can we know what equipment the okay, brother has it. right now? Shield the brother? Shield. Well, shield. as with all the Dacian soldiers, a sword and a shield. As to things that are invisible to the eye, that is not up to me to describe. Okay. Mm. Why can't he use both? That's what he has. Cool. How did, how did the visions work before? Well, Travelers, but he described we need your to time use our for discussion uh, has come to a close. We gotta use our shield. To answer. Mm. Probably synonym for this is with produce fish. Mm. I will call upon. Mm, no, but like. Diamond. What does the brother do? The brother will deflect the fire using his shield. The shield, the Dacian shield, the shield of the enemy he has hated so much for so long. Is it enough to save his life? Let's find out. The brother realizes he doesn't have time to get up. Barely managing to move onto one knee, he brings his Dacian shield up and uses both hands to ready it, and the fire slams into it. And it roars, scorching the shield, burning his arms. But after a moment, just a moment, the fire is gone, and the brother drops the burned shield, its fragments scattering as it hits the stone floor. The Inquisitor uh, readies staying? the glimmering sword and leaps forth, swinging the mighty mm. blade down toward the brother. The prince is still paralyzed. What does the brother do? Decide. Bring the sword man. to 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 oh, down. Like, yeah, I, I, You're I, not gonna die. We're just gonna die. Yeah. 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 Still on the ground. We gotta yeah. strike. Yeah. Strike. Yeah. strike. We gotta strike. We gotta strike. Yeah. Strike. Yelling deflect. Yeah. I, I s dodge. Clash with the sword. In the All of the answers have been clash. Clash. We need to clash with our sword. Yeah, we could. No, we could duel. We could. We could duel. Yeah, duel. Use a beam. Use a yeah, you just I don't think the D-word's so well, so so funny. I, I don't matter, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just putting this out there. Right. 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 He's never right. blocked with the shield before. On the ground. He's not His legs are intact. We just did now. His legs are intact in the second state. Yeah, but in the previous attempts, you haven't. This is the first time he's got his legs working. So we're attacking. We should attack. But no, we already. But we had working yeah. legs before when I we tried dodging, and then the second time we tried dodging, it didn't work. We so. should. We should probably try to strike yeah, in the safe because first we time it was we've never fire. actually cut we've the never, fire. We've cut never the tried fire. striking it. Every time we've dodged him, we should just actually try striking since it's going to be something new that we tried. No wait, this is an AOE. He's not right? on the ground so right even now. If he did dodge, no, not AOE. It's not an AOE. It's not an AOE. He's singing a sword. He's swinging a sword at us. Yeah. A flaming sword. Your time. Let's up. Wait, to discuss. It's not, it's, it's not, it's not funny. I am going to call on Bigabass123. Do you speak? Yeah. Bigabass123. Yeah. Yes, go ahead. We're going to duel with our swords. A duel. A clash of blades. Ooh. Mm -hmm. The brother stays on one knee and watches carefully. For a moment, he's back in time, training with a silver aegis. He knows what to do. He waits for the right moment. And when it comes, he brings the Dacian sword up and it collides with a great blade of his enemy. And fiery sparks fly with all his might. He pushes and rotates in his parry as successful but the Dacian sword has been bent uselessly with the force of the blow. Yep. The Inquisitor lands on his feet, he and his sword both unharmed. 
that's two for two, travelers. But it's going to get much, much more dangerous. The Inquisitor okay. steps back, glaring down at the brother who is still trying to stand. The Inquisitor raises one arm heavenward, and fire begins to gather in his palm. The prince mm -hmm. remains paralyzed. What does the brother do? Uh, he's not gonna attack uh, the prince because he wants him alive, so hide behind like the prince. Work? Throw the sword. Behind the prince. 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 The prince is also immune yes. to fire. He got hit earlier. Yes, he got hit earlier. Go for the prince. Go for the prince. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah go for the prince. Line of sight. Line of sight. Let's go. Yeah, line of sight. Line of sight. Yeah. All right. Let's go. <laughs> let's We're using the prince of the meat shield. Got it. Or distracted already. And we've been trying to get us from behind cover. We're behind cover. Just throw the sword like a spear. As a no, meat go shield. for the prince. When he literally the prince is immune to fire, apparently. Because of the crowd. So go for the prince. Die for the prince. Wait. Well, like, he like he defied. I don't. I don't. We don't know if he's immune, but it's just like, like he yeah, defied yeah. the fire earlier. I mean, like he just like yes, he was in the room when it was burning. Press. It was fine. <coughs> yeah. No shield. Yeah, no sword. We both use that. that he has stepped just, away. Yeah, duck behind the prince. Or, or distracted. So go for the prince. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Duck, duck behind the prince. Hide behind the prince. So go for the prince. Dude, grab the sword. Grab the sword. Go for the prince and grab the sword. Yeah. The sword is the prince. The hour so let's, let's hide first. Let's hide first. Yeah, let's hide first. 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 Let's hide Zared. What is the best idea you have heard? Hmm. Huh? <laughs> I it's <laughs> what? interesting, no. but um, I, 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 I hope that it also involves going to the prince. Uh, so let's just go to the prince. Yeah, just go to the prince. He should tell the prince to focus, okay, close not his not eyes, and wish him. to displace the Inquisitor to the bottom of the ocean. <gasps> oh yeah, because... Interesting. The brother would have heard... heard of what happened. Can the prince even so hear does. him right now? Does he have time mm. to explain it? I'm going to interpret your suggestion as the brother asking the prince to use his miracle. Hmm. Is this all right with you? Very well. Okay. Let's see if the prince's miracle is sufficient. The brother looks at the Inquisitor and then at his brother. His brother is just on all fours, not moving. And he, with the last moment he has, he calls out for his brother to use his miracle. Wish something, wish anything, quickly. The brother can see the great light growing. No, the light isn't growing. It's aimed right at him. God, no. Vana, no, not like this. The 
prince watches the events unfold. Helpless. His gift disabled. The Inquisitor grabs the prince by his head and lifts him off the ground. But when he lets go, the prince does not fall. He hangs by the head, by the crown. The prince becomes completely trapped in his own body as he feels a presence increase nearby. And he watches, powerless, as his brother's body is removed from the throne room. His mother's cold voice echoes through the tall chamber. The prince looks at her sitting on the throne, but there is no movement there. And the queen's disembodied voice orders the deaths of all Dacians outside and declares that a new era has begun, an era under her rule as the Grey Queen. My friends, for this tale's conclusion, please follow me. Well, okay. We know two of the right answers. We know two of the right answers now. Wait, two is evil. Do we follow the rule of threes? Inquisitor becomes the Oracle of the Church of Vana and a general for a great new army of Lazarus. He guides the vanguard in the war against the neighboring kingdom of Dacia, he himself wielding the power of a thousand men and the fire straight from a dragon's bowels. And his greatest weapon not his infernal miracle, not any blade nor spear, but a boy, ever by his side, <coughs> donning Varnan robes, bearing a simple crown, a boy who, when not needed, sits on the stone floor of a tall, featureless room, without music, without art without education, without friendship, without love. A boy who, with a single thought, would reduce entire armies, entire cities, entire kingdoms to dust, to be blown away in the next breeze. Time and time again. My dear friends, welcome to Bad Ending B of the Prince. For those who are new here, there will be some announcements in a couple of minutes by Sheen. Please remain here while the tour guides realign our ether. If you would all like to take a group photo, please do so 
here and now. We tour guides will stand aside, and after you take the photo, Sheen will deliver his announcements. There used to be part of the picture. Uh, we mm. want you part of the picture. Hmm? It's not right not having the tour guide to part of the picture. It, it's wrong with you not being in there. I, feel I mean, we can literally just... Compromising. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, come on, guys. Let's take a picture, picture by this wall over here. Like that. Yeah, let's just do it on the wall back here. Come on, guys. This wall. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Easy. We're not giving you a choice. You're part of our photo. Hold on, wait, uh... Mm. Where are we looking? Mind the photo? Come uh, uh, photo. towards the entryway. <laughs> I'm, I'm asking... Uh, there you go. Very good. I'm not on top of anyone, am I? Mm -hmm. On the top? How many cameras <laughs> are we going to be using? <laughs> <laughs> we need as many pictures um, as possible. Um, <laughs> What's the word we say? Save us, Mana. <laughs> Save us, Mana. Save us, Mana. Save us, Mana. You require additional pylons. <laughs> That'll be ninety-nine dollars. Thank you, Trojan. Trojan. Trojan horse. Trojan horse. Trojan, Trojan horse. Trojan, Trojan horse. 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 Trojan yeah. Mm. Oh, oh, that sounds amazing. Oh. We were so close. The good stuff. Yeah, at least we know we two of the thing. answers. We don't know what to do at the end, though. Yeah. Might take us a bit. So, okay, so we could always try jumping for the brother. Oh, uh, yeah. We dodge. And so, so I started with the shield. So we started no. with the shield. Well, the third one, the like sword, we found out that the, the uh, attack is direct, the is aimed, it's not the the something that affects the whole room. <laughs> well, why are you No, like he said that it was aimed directly at the brother tonight, because this is a sad ending. Because the brother realized that it wasn't the nail he was aiming for him. Yeah. Guys, got me down. There's no wrong answers. There's more information. Money. So Dodge were rehearsing for the Blue Man Group. But the thing is, travelers, travelers, your attention. I bet you have the voice of the travelers. Thank you for journeying with us to the end of this story. That's too bad for the prince. He'll be up there in that tower. That featureless room. Without art, as Trajim says. How long will he remain there? How long do characters from the endings we abandon remain where they are? Perhaps that's a question that we must answer eventually. Travelers, put your hands together for the greatest tour guide in the world, Trey Jim. Yeah, Trey. Woo! Yeah. Trey Jim, you are the best. <laughs> Amazing. Mm -hmm. Bam. Mm -hmm. Travelers. We love you, Trey Jim. We create immersive, story-based tours. With original writing, beautiful worlds, voice acting, and wholesome team effort. We always do this for fun, and we always do this for free. However, we do ask one thing in return. We ask 
that you join our Discord and post the photos and or comments from today's tour there. The Discord ID is my status in VR chat. There you can discuss the alternate endings to our tours, the secrets of our headquarters, and other mysteries. Finally, if you really enjoy the hard work our team puts into this, and you want to help us write more stories and create more beautiful worlds, please support us on Patreon. Joining us there is only $3 per month, and it grants you eligibility to play character roles in our tours. Like the NPCs you sold today. You also are granted access to a private Discord channel within our server. There we post content and updates from our projects that we're currently <laughs> working on. Well, travelers... Thank you for your support. Behind the scenes, Trey Jim, Rendizo, and our good friend Pimon Nick123 are working hard. Soon, we'll have more adventures for you. So once again, thank you for your support.